about newspapers. Also from uh, uh, attorneys, you each have a copy of the uh, applications for the visual coverage. This also uh, appears to be an objection to that, uh, Mr. Mark. No, that's satisfying. I am extremely offended by Mr. Dimmelow's statements. I have a paper's card, like on my hands and feet. I've never heard of that. I'm just. Mr. Dimmelow knew his acts were wrong. He didn't act as an insane person that didn't know right from wrong. Instead, he acted as a clever and calculated individual who murdered another individual and took several steps to be, prevent himself from being caught and convicted. Now, from reading the letters that were submitted, several people ask you to take sympathy and show mercy to Mr. Demogol. Well, I would remind this court that Mr. Demogol showed no sympathy or mercy to his victim on February 11th of 2006. And I'd ask this court to show him no sympathy or mercy today. I'd ask this court to sentence the defendant to the maximum sentence of 25 years of life in state prison. The sentence that Your Honor should impose has to be one that's a sufficient sentence to meet all the sentencing criteria under the law, but at the same time, not be more than necessary to meet all of those criteria. And one of the issues of sentence certainly is to see that my client is, gets the services that he needs. I've heard the evidence cannot be overstated. Uh, your acts uh, causing the death of Mr. Mancini at your hand and the bludgeoning that occurred as he uh, asked for his life um, can't be ignored by me. Although you apparently do suffer from a mental illness that has been determined uh, by other experts in the field who testified at the trial. That was not sufficient to mind the determination of the jury to absolve you of responsibility for this crime under the law of the state of New York. So you stand here convicted of um, murder in the second degree, having murdered George Mancini here in Columbia County. Although I appreciate what your uh, attorney, Mr. Mott, has aptly uh, pointed out in terms of the district attorney's conduct, perhaps dating back to 2007 before the trial uh, in front of another judge in the county court of Columbia County. That, however, was uh, dealt with at the appellate division, has been returned here for retrial in front of me, which has culminated uh, with your conviction and ultimately for today's sentence. And notwithstanding your mental illness that uh, will be dealt with, obviously, uh, by the Department of Correctional Services for the state of New York, as the uh, extensive pre-sentence investigation report will travel with you through uh, your future, I'll say, in that facility. And I'll leave it to the uh, Department of uh, Corrections to determine the appropriate placement, the appropriate services for you, based upon all, uh, upon all the information, the facts, and circumstances, as uh, corrections determines determines it to be inappropriate for you. But being unable to overlook the uh, brutality of your crime, the impact on your family, which uh, you have heard as well as I have today, and I've read extensive letters, albeit perhaps some comments being inappropriate and disregarded by me, the impact upon the family can't be ignored either. Accordingly, I'm sentencing you uh, of course, the mandatory uh, surcharges and DNA data bank registration fees that are required by law, although I'm informed that they have been paid in the past by your previous sentencing, and although imposed as part of your sentence today, apparently are not due. More importantly, I sent you an maximum permitted by law, that is, an indeterminate term of incarceration having a minimum of 25 years and a maximum of life in prison. And that appeal, of course, has to be perfected in accordance with the rules of the appellate division. Anything else, Mr. Costanza? Nothing for the people, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Moffitt. Your Honor, just I want the record to reflect that at this time I'm handing an uh, original copy, original of the notice of appeal to uh, Mr. Costanza, and the original will be filed with the clerk later this morning. Thank I, you. I acknowledge your seat. Thank you. Very well. And we are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Was justice served?
I mean, he got the maximum penalty for second degree murder. He wasn't charged with first degree murder, so I wish he would have been, but it's too late for that, you know. How, how has this affected your family? This has had a terrible impact on our family. Our family's changed. One of the key people that held the happiness to our family is gone. And I, I feel justice is served as best as it could, considering it was a mental illness thing, but I'm driving a long way home much happier. I'm glad it's over. It, it's been rough on us.